tonight on Fan Nation presented by J.P. Roofing. We're celebrating baseball in the bird. How did the Washington Wild Things end up in Pittsburgh? Ask former Pirates pitcher Kent Tocolvi. We're getting wild with the rubber band man. Before they owned the Steelers, they were stealing bases. We head down to Wheeling, West Virginia to learn about the Rooney's minor league careers. They gave the nosebleed section a new name. Now, 63 years later, the fan in the iconic photo relives that unforgettable moment. You can call him the Steel City's Cy Young. We're traveling back to the 1800s to meet Pittsburgh's pitching pioneer, Pud Galvin. Plus, Gus Greenlee and his Pittsburgh Crawford's contributions to baseball were nothing short of a grand slam. And check out one group of artists' custom baseball cards, all inspired by the return of touch. All that and more, are you ready? Because this is Fan Nation, presented by JP Roofing, and here we go! This is Pittsburgh, the greatest sports town around. To prove it, we're hitting the road to meet you. The loudest, the proudest, the without a doubtest, best sports fans in the world. This is Fan Nation. Welcome to Fan Nation, presented by JP Roofing. We're here at the most beautiful ballpark in all the world, PNC Park, to celebrate all things baseball in the Burr. That's right, Daisy. The Pittsburgh Pirates start their season in just five days, so we're highlighting some of the Steel City standout sluggers, fantastic teams, and amazing fans like you. Well, you know, to start, we're making a call to the bullpen to a certain We Are Family Pirates pitcher known for a pair of aviators and his signature sidearm style. You know what, Richie? You actually look a lot like him right now. I was hoping so. I love Teague. And it's funny you say that, Daisy, because you're dressed pretty well for the occasion, too. Well, you know, I guess you're right. Well, looks like we're wild and ready for some indie ball with Teague. You know, when you're in the minor league system, you know, there, there are guys, obviously, the, the high draft choices who are expected to perform well and expected to move up and expected to be in the big league. And then there are guys like me who just by a quirk, got a chance to be in a farm system. The only reason why I kept playing was I loved the game. I graduated from Marietta College in 1969, played ball there for four years. It was not drafted at all by anybody. Ended up signing out of a tryout camp during the summers. I was never a guy from the day I graduated from college that was supposed to be a major league player. I wasn't good enough. I was too tall, I was skinny, went seven years through the minor league system of the Pirates, and then finally, uh, in 1975, came to the big leagues and was able to do well enough to stick and stay. You know, by 1979, obviously, the highlight when we win the World Series, and I actually had the privilege of being on the mound and throwing the last pitch of the game. I've been dreaming about this my whole life, and now I helped 24 of my teammates win a World Series probably October or November of 2001. One day the phone rings and it's Leo Trich. Says this is Leo Trich, the uh, state representative from Washington County. We're, gonna, we're putting together a project where we're putting this independent league baseball team together in Washington County and I need somebody to run the baseball operations. And then I went back about my past and how I didn't get drafted, how I needed a chance. That rang, that rang a bell with me. I was that guy. You know, if I could be involved in helping some kid get another chance to live his dream, I think it's gonna be worth it. He was a big part of the whole organization. He kind of gave us the roots. Having Kent Colby involved just made people realize how important it was. We were able to pull through a team at number one. We drew pretty darn well, a lot better than we thought we were gonna draw, especially being an unknown. And then also, we played very well. We ended up winning our division and went to the championship. You know, to think that it's 20 plus years now, that has held up and remained a, a very valuable part of the community, I think is, um, is something that I take pride in. 